Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this week I grabbed my box of uh, copper washers and I wanted to make a necklace, but I wanted to make a clasp. For example, here's a clasp I made out of um, fused pure silver wire. And this is an experiment day. I was hoping to make a clasp similar to this with my copper washers. So in order to do that, I have to pick a small ring and a larger ring because the larger ring needs to be manipulated into a clasp. So I think I'm going to go with, I need two washers that are pretty much the same width. So that would be these two. They're, they're the same width as far as, you know, the ring is concerned. So I picked this one and this one and this one I'm trying, I'm going to try to get to this size with the little clasp attachment. This metal is pretty hard, so you know what I'm going to need to do? I'm going to need to anneal it, which I've never done before. So if you want to join me for that, I hope it all works out. To anneal the copper washer, you're going to need a butane torch. So hopefully you have that. So come join me and we'll anneal this copper washer. Okay, so here I am at my stove with my little setup for my torch because I have nowhere else to go. And I'm going to do a little experiment here to try to anneal this copper washer so I can manipulate it and shape it into a little clasp. So let's see if this works. I'm going to turn on my torch. get it all glowing orange. Okay, see how it's starting to turn orange? I'm going to stop there. Okay, so now that I have annealed this copper washer, let's go see if I can shape it into a little clasp. All right, I'm back at my desk. I have my washer that I just hopefully annealed to make it softer because I'll show you how I, well, this is the first time I've done it with copper. So I'm hoping I can manipulate it into the round part being this big and then having a little appendage sticking out to bend over so I can make it clasp. So I've done this with pure silver wire that I fused together, which is really a soft metal, but hopefully this works. So I have a dowel here that should hopefully make a circle about the same size as that washer. I should probably have something harder. Oh yeah, I'll try a pen. It's starting to shape a big fat Sharpie. Well, it's bending pretty easy, so that's great. One end I'm trying to pinch together. I want to keep this this end nice and round like, like this guy, but this guy, this end I want to pinch together. have to go anneal this again because all this pounding and manipulating might harden the metal back up again. I went to anneal it again and I think I'm going to use my ring mandrel to shape it now. I didn't think of that before. Looks a little wrinkled, but I got to pound that out. Okay, and 
is pretty much the shape I'm going for. So now I have a pretty much the same size as this guy, but I'm gonna bend this end over so I can make a clasp out of it. Straighten out these edges, I can put it on the edge here. Pound them together. Next I want to put my hammer texture on, so I'll do it to both pieces on both sides. Using the, the rounded end of my hammer here. Texturing done. Next, I want to bend this over to make the clasp part. I want this side to be on the outside, so I'm going to bend it over this way. It's going to be pretty hard. Copper it hardens up pretty fast. I need to bend a little more snug up against the clasp, so I got me my hammer back. exactly what, how you want it. pretty nicely. I'll make a nice clasp for a um, for a necklace or a bracelet. So that's how they turned out. Not too shabby. I'll probably throw them in the tumbler. I'm really excited how this turned out. I am going to go ahead and make a necklace out of these and I'll make a video of that for next week. So just stay tuned and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Have a great week. See you next time. Mm -hmm.